What is up guys, it's KaijiZolo621 and I'm finally doing another review again. It's been about four months, it's been so long. Probably five months actually. I think the last one was in July or June, late June. Um, yeah, it's been a long time guys, so I'm finally doing them again. And the reason I'm doing them again because I can't get the Halloween update and also I feel like it's not... Like, I just, I don't know. I'm, I will do it, but just not now. I just kind of feel boarded out lately like this whole week was boring but um even though these videos won't get a lot of views because they're figures you've seen before i'm still gonna do them because i want to at least put some content out because there's not gonna be a lot this month because i can't really think of anything new um but anyway this is chainsaw gaigen this is the eight inch one from godzilla final wars 2004 if you guys know that you must know already what his powers is, he shoots through lasers, and you know Gigan, he has a chainsaw and everything. Um, but this one uh, has the chainsaws like that. It's really huge, really spiky, but it's made of vinyl, so it's not really that uh, sharp. So let's get into detail. With detail, you can see the face right there. Crap, I was just reviewing a figure. And he's, he's right there. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh god. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh god. Oh. 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 God! Oh. oh my gosh, what happened? Oh my gosh. It's really, really good. It's one of the best figures I have. Um, you can see the beak. It's really accurate. This is one of the most accurate figures in my collection. Let me just spin it around. Same thing on the other side. I like how the neck looks, it's the repaired version because Godzilla blew his head off. Um, I like this one uh, more, this is probably my favorite Gigan design so far because I think, I don't know, there could be a chance Legendary or Toho might bring him back. I mean I could see some cool shots with him like the new Gigan. Um, but anyway, they did really nice, the eye. Uh, it's not like the SH Monster where you can see like the little bubbles inside, it's not like that but still. If it's an old figure, it's still really good. You could definitely use it for movies. Um, they didn't they didn't make separate spikes right there. As you see, they're all like tangled together. Kind of like how Bandai Creation does with their teeth sometimes on the Bandai. Um, going on to the chest, the blue roll. It's kind of dusty because I haven't touched it in a long time. I gotta clean it. But anyway, you can see the, you can see the nice blue armor plates it has. Reminds you of Gaios. Um... It looks you can see all the rib cage, it looks so cool. <clears throat> it's a robot, so I don't I don't know. I forgot how it, if it's the body just remade. I have no idea, but the chainsaw is really good. It looks like it could work if you turn it on. Um, you can see all the little gadgets, wires and stuff, tangling all around Gigan. Same thing for the whole body like that. Moving on to the actual best part of the figure, the chainsaws. Look at that, that looks really cool. You could definitely cut, you could have cut Godzilla's head off in a movie if you wanted to. But yeah, it's really, really good. It very, it looks very realistic. Um, same thing for the other arm. Moving on to the back plates, you can see right there the wings, I guess you could say. They look phenomenal. Like, they have this uh, uh, design where it looks like it's made of uh, the... Um, the paper-like material, I don't know, but you can see like the the indents, kind of like how you have it in your bed, you know. Um, the spikes are nice, they're not, I don't know if they were silver, but on here they're blue, as you can see. Um, yeah, they just look really good, they're very bendable. Um, so yeah, you can see the back, more, more the back. Uh, moving on to the knees, you can see right there, you got the three spikes right there, looks really cool. I'm just trying to show the whole figure off. You got back uh, back nails, as you can see. The feet are really cool. Uh, traditional Gigan feet with the like big spike coming out of his foot. 
It kind of looks like a screw right there. More spikes on the bag. This is a very spiky figure. Moving on to the uh, tail, one of the best parts in the figure too. Uh, it's got this really nice design. Again, they do the thing where this is not separate. It's all clunched together, as you can see. Um, here's the back under the tail. You can see the logo of Toho. You can't really read that, but you can. Cool, awesome uh, back spike, like the tail part at the end. Looks really cool. Going on to the paint, uh, it's got the. It's, it looks exactly like they pull it out of the movie. Like the paints are spot on. You can see the blue right there. They got a perfect red. Um, it's all right, red. It's not like the best. Like I mean, I don't even know if they could do any better than this. So I can't really judge that much. Um, the silver is all right. It's not really shiny, but it's pretty good. Um, yeah, it's really awesome. Got the same blue. You have different blue highlights as you can see. It's got dark blue, then kind of like black, and then light blue on like the shoulders. Red, traditional colors design. There's only like three colors on this figure, so not really much for paint job. Articulation, you don't have any on the head, but you got the arms right here. Both arms move 360. You can move the chainsaws really cool like that. Look how awesome that looks. Then you can move the legs right here. The other leg right here and the tail doesn't really move so yeah one two three four five six points of articulation moving on to some sizing let's start out with one of the moving on to sizing you can start out with one of the uh, uh, Bandai creation figure mostly everyone has here's the uh, Godzilla 2000 of course this is not size up Possibly because the Final Wars monsters were really huge, like 300 feet tall, and this Godzilla was smaller, so I think it could be smaller than uh, Gigan here, but I think this is all right scaling for real life size. But if you want to compare with figure battles, eh, not really. So here we got Godzilla 1954 Bandai, and this sizing I think it's pretty good. It's the Bandai creation Godzilla Final Wars. I don't know about this, I mean, it looks good. But Gigan is a bit too small, so it would. I wish it could be bigger like that. Maybe that would have been a great match. Um, but it, yeah, there is a Bandai creation of Final Wars Gigan, so I think it's bigger than this one. I'm not sure, but I think it is. Final thoughts on this figure? It's a really nice figure. I definitely recommend you getting it. But this is one of the more rarer Godzilla figures. Yes, you could find it at G Fest, but you might have to pay a heavy price, like around 80 to 100 bucks. I paid actually a lot more than I think it was a hundred actually. It's not that good of a pricing, but I guess it's all right since there's not a lot out there anymore. Because um, yeah, as you know, Bandai figures are starting to get more more rare every every day. So yeah, it's a good figure. I think I give it a nine. I, I, I don't know, ten out of ten. Like it's hard giving it, but there's really not much you can do. So maybe a ten out of ten, I'd say. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys like me doing reviews again like this, then tell me in the comments below. Um, cause I'll, like, it's not really much to do anymore with Godzilla, so yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. This is KaijuZilla621, signing out.